This video is going to explain in detail how to set up and balance your Hohem iSteady MT2 kit. It also applies to the Hohem iSteady MT2 except the AI unit is missing. Welcome very much to a new S-Lab video. First, if we want or not, we have to remove our beautiful camera belt from the camera which we are aiming to stabilize. We shall attach the tripod to the bottom of the gimbal in order for it to stand securely. We are to unlock the roll and tilt motor switches and then fix them in unfolded status again. In a next step, we are going to attach the quick release plate to the camera. The heavier the lens, the more we move it to the front. But since my fish eye is light, I'll keep the plate near the center. Having this task completed, we may adjust it to the size of our camera body using the magnetically attached key together with the two screws at the bottom of the L bracket. In order to secure the camera. Don't forget to fix the magnetic key again. We are now to unlock the mount latch and slide in the camera facing the same direction as the AI unit which comes included with the kit. We shall of course always lock the mount latch thoroughly again. Before we go on with the wires, we make sure that also our monitor is fixed in the correct direction of our project's needs. We use a USB to multi cable in case we are connecting one of the compatible Sony cameras. In case we are using a different system, we simply choose the cable of our needs. Also, if we wish to feed our camera with the power outlet of our Hohem gimbal, we connect, similar to the given example, one more wire to accomplish additional power supply. In case we wish to connect any other additional gear, we may do so before transferring into the balancing procedure. As you can see, here I applied some final adjustments to the cable routing. Tilt axis balancing. Unlock the tilt motor and balance the camera pointing upwards by moving it once having unlocked the vertical tilt. Done with that, lock the vertical tilt lock again. Horizontal balancing of the tilt axis.
Unlock the quick release plate latch in order to find the perfect balance point. Lock the quick release plate again. Balancing the roll axis. Unlock the roll axis motor lock switch and adjust the roll axis arm latch to its perfect balanced position. Then lock the roll axis motor again. Balancing the pan axis. In order to achieve this, first unlock the pan motor lock switch and then find the camera's center of gravity. Now our Hohem iSteady MT2 is ready to go. By the way, if you wish to balance a smartphone or action cam instead, the whole procedure is the same. But you will have to use the included HPC01 smartphone holder or respectively the included action cam mount in connection with the quick release plate instead of the camera we used in this example. You may also consider to click the notification bell because in near future I'm planning to release more videos referring the Hohem iSteady MT2. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like and follow button as well.